Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Peter Clausey from CBLT Inc. How are you today? I'm doing really well, Tracy. How are you? I'm doing well, and I am dying to talk to you, Peter, because if I recall, you've given me a couple of quotes I've used on multiple occasions, but you told me that a junior mining company could make more money with a pen than it could a drill bit. So how's that going in current market conditions? Well, that's true when commodities are depressed. When commodities are rocking and rolling, the drill bit is everybody's friend. But during the tough decade we just suffered through, mining companies have had to find creative ways to create value for their shareholders. And we did that through M&A activities. CBLT has not had to do a financing since 2016 because we found creative M&A to make money for our shareholders. And it's going really, really well. Of course, you've been very active with your M&As uh, here in the last year. Let's just start with your most recent news release on uh, Omni's progress at North Shore Gold. Okay. So uh, two years ago, CBLT bought a portfolio of assets for a little over $1 million in stock. That North Shore Gold was one of those assets. We just sold that one asset for $1.45 million. Uh, roughly one quarter of it in stock in cash, three quarters of it in stock. The buyer is called Omni Commerce Corp, which is changing its name to Ready Set Gold. It should list in December of 2020. We are the single largest shareholder in that company going forward. Our stock becomes free trading at the end of December. Part of it subject to a voluntary escrow, but we will be receiving roughly $300,000 worth of our stock at the end of December. It's been a very successful M&A run for us, and we wish Ready, Set, Gold all the best luck in the world. Well, speaking of M&A deals that you've done, of course, in addition to gold, we have what, what we have. We've got copper. We've got cobalt. Where do you want to go next, Peter? Let's get an update. Uh, we have filed a permit to drill at Big Duck Lake. Big Duck Lake is in Hemlo. It has a historic non-compliant resource. Um, it's, it's a really, really interesting property. The geologists have told us that it has some characteristics that are analogous to uh, the Moose Lake Porphyry, which hosts the Hemlo Gold Camp. So we're very excited to get in there and do some work. And like I said, you often comment about cobalt. Can you give us a cobalt update, please? Pricing on cobalt has to be one of the most boring topics in the world because despite the insanity of the past two years, cobalt has traded in a very narrow range between roughly $30,000 and $34,000 a ton on the London Metals Exchange. But if you believe that we're going to greenify the world, if you believe that there's a run on lithium, then you have to believe there's a run on cobalt. Cobalt has certain characteristics that make it um, indispensable to the creation of a battery formulation in the cathode. You have to have cobalt, even BYD uh, in uh, China, which is the Warren Buffett invested company, has 0.5% cobalt in the batteries. Uh, there are a couple of small formulations that don't need cobalt, but they have small energy sinks. So, Peter, what should we as shareholders anticipate, say, in the next coming quarter or two? So, Q1 is going to be busy for us. Our first block of stock comes free trading at uh, December 26. Call that $300,000. We currently have about $200,000 in the bank already. That's roughly half a million dollars. We can do a lot of good with half a million dollars. And then four months after that, we get another $300,000 worth of stock come out of escrow. We can do a lot of really good things coming up. We can spend that money wisely. We can invest it wisely, make good money for the shareholders. So Q1, Q2, going to be very interesting for the shareholders. Well, Peter, I'll tell you, we always love CBLT updates. We love to hear what you're doing with your M&A model. Please visit us more often, and thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure to see you. Have a wonderful day.